Oh, good morning, my friends. How are you? Welcome to the Bot Signal. My name is RJ Redden. Entrepreneurs hire me to skyrocket their marketing message because most are just shouting into a black hole. They're a carbon copy of everybody else and they can't get engagement to save their lives. So I create epic chatbot experiences that get people to click that button, connect with you, and convert like crazy. Bottom line, I am on a mission to motivate a million people to change their marketing. Today, we're starting with you. So, my friends, good morning, good morning, and... Today, I want to talk about something important. Now, this is philosophical and conceptual. Of course, it has to do with chatbots, but I want to, I'll, so much of this, so much of changing your marketing to chatbots is changing your perception, changing the frame of thought, changing that traditional marketing mindset over to one of service and value. So, Today, we're going to talk about so how to surprise and delight your clients and potential clients. That is, that is something that helps you stand out on the crowd. If you make someone smile, if you cause them to think, if you are, if you actually, you know, uh, indicate that you know them instead of making them fill out the same landing page name and email address 78 times or sending them 78 product emails about products they've already bought. Listen, it is easy to stand out. It is easy to stand out. You just have to change your frame of mind. You have to change your perception about it. So one of the things that has really been awesome uh, in the past couple of days here is that I started something new on my own chatbot. And this is important because surprise and delight factor, right? A couple of days ago, I talked to you about how to follow up, how to follow up with ease and how to follow up in a way that causes people to smile and think about you and think, man, she's got her follow-up game. Awesome. I need to talk to her about some more stuff. And that is, I'm using a little service called Monjuro. Uh, they have a free sign up. They also have, you know, more intense signups if you want to do that, but they are a company that just lets you shoot a little 30 second video and send it to somebody's email address. Fantastic. So here's what I've set up in the past couple of days here on my chatbot, and it is working beautifully. And that is this. When I get someone new signing up on my chatbot, and when I say my chatbot, I say, I mean, I have that thing planted in several places. So when someone new signs up, and that is give me what I mean by sign up, I get their first name, last name, phone number, email. What that does is it sends a little message to Bonjoro and it creates a task for me to go ahead and record a little 30 second video, use their name, send it to them. Just for signing up for my chat and saying, hey, uh, thank you so much for signing up. I am so pleased to have you. And my intention is that you'll get a ton of value out of this. By the way, if you haven't signed up for a community, please do. That is so much different. That is so much different than what we're usually offering. We're not usually offering something that is personal. We're not usually offering that type of stuff because we think it'll take too much time or we are just not familiar with using that in a, you know, in a traditional marketing run. I get it. I get it. But if you want to surprise and delight, part of what you need to do is you need to do things a little bit differently. You need to make it so that people are treated personally. And it's really hard to do with traditional marketing. It's real hard to do with traditional marketing because that is meant to, that is designed to catch as many people as you can and have them trickle back to you. 
Okay. Unfortunately, it's totally alienating. So notice when I said how to surprise and delight, and that that is treat them personally. Find a way to personalize their communication. In a chatbot, it's super easy. Really, all you need to do is, you know, the the what I just explained there, that's a good one. Another one is to recognize them when they come back to your bot, have personality in your bot, have some character there, make it somebody that they're kind of, you know, uh, waiting to hear from. That is all, that is all good stuff. There's a, there's actually kind of a ton of ways to surprise and delight your clients now that I think about it in a chat bot. Um, so I want to get to this next point though, because it's very important. I want you to notice that what I did not say is create more content or give away more for free. I did not say those things. I did not say how to surprise and delight is give away more for free, which if you're a coach, uh, you know that you're tempted to do that sometimes. Oh, well, let's just lower the prices and see what happens. It's the, it's, it's a tough road because that road doesn't tend to end for most people until they've needed to find other work. Um, so I didn't say create more content either. It's creating value for people doesn't always have to do with giving them a valuable piece of knowledge that you know. It doesn't always have to do with something like that. Sometimes it's just recognizing people. For so long, we feel like we're shouting into a black hole. And when someone recognizes you, when people come to your site, whether it's a chatbot landing page or something else, and your bot recognizes that person, which I teach my bots to do. If we've already got your basic information, if we've already got some stuff on you, what we'll do then is train the bot to say, hey, you came, you, you, last week you uh, signed up for my challenge. I'm so happy that you did that. Um, Thank you, Karen, for doing that. And how, you know, how are you getting along with that so far? Instead of, hi, we've got a new webinar, sign up for my stuff. You see the difference there. And there is a stat floating out there that is, uh, and somebody did the work on this. I don't have it up for you. Uh, So I'll put this in the comments later, but people are 75% more likely to buy something if you recognize them, if you call them by name, if you know some details. Think about this. Think about how very many times in life we have to fill out the same information for the same people over and over and over again. Now, of course, sir, of course, the doctor's office comes to mind, right? Like, <laughs> get there a half hour early uh, every single time you go because otherwise uh, you're going to be running late because you have a half hour of papers to fill out. The same feeling comes to me when somebody that I know and that I've bought from sends me an email that leads to a sign up page. You already have my name. You already have my email. Seriously, darling, why are you asking for it again? Why can't you just sign me up for this stuff? Why can't you make it easy for me? That's the client side. That's the client side of what they're going through every time we force them into a landing page type of situation. I know it's easy for us as marketers. It's what we're taught to do. That's what we're taught to repeat. That's what we're taught to crank out a million times a day. But it's not helping our people. So this is why I'm trying to create a revolution. Trying to. Listen, I am creating a revolution. I just wanted you to know that. Yes, my cup has a cape. I am creating a revolution because we absolutely and desperately need one. We desperately need to start thinking about the clients rather than thinking about the number of people that might glance at a message.
Okay. If you want help doing that, you know that I provide such things. Please do text BOT to 555 if you want to get a free bot strategy and also chat with me for a half an hour because that, that option is available. We can chat about that bot strategy. We can chat about just basic bots and what do they do. We can talk about the March 5th changes that are coming to Facebook. March 4th, sorry. <laughs> You'd think I'd have that date memorized. Anyway... Thank you for stopping by today. You know I love you and I'm so happy to be in your in your area of influence today. That's all I've got for today. I will be back tomorrow because tomorrow's Friday and until then I will see you in a bot. <laughs>